What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the Royal Enfield Scrambler and today we're going to discuss the touring capabilities of this motorcycle. So without wasting much time, let's cut the chase. So what is my personal feel about this motorcycle as a tourer? So first of all, let's look at the cruising speed on this motorcycle. So considering the fact that this motorcycle is a 411 cc motorcycle and it's a long stroke engine, uh, the motorcycle can do a cruising speed of uh, 80 to 100 km per hour. Even you can do a cruising at 110, that's fine. But the top speed what you can do on this motorcycle cycle is a 120 or max 125 so if you're planning to do a cruising from 100 to 110 that's fine and you get enough juice to get into 120 and in all these speeds actually in the cruising speeds the motorcycle is like refined no vibration issues but if you are trying to redline it then you will get to hear the engine sound and uh, there is a minor vibration on the foot pegs and on the seat and at that time itself uh, the mirror actually goes a little blurry basically not major vibration issues so when it comes to the ergonomics this is like a perfect ergonomics for a long distance tourer. Our arms will be completely resting on the handlebar. There is no pressure put onto the handlebar. The seats are actually comfortable. We are sitting upright and the pillion also will be having a similar kind of a seating posture. The foot pegs are forward set. So altogether a comfortable motorcycle to sit and ride. And uh, this motorcycle doesn't have a wind visor. So honestly, I'll say that I'm not missing that wind visor from Himalayan because when I go in high speed, what I found is that uh, that wind visor is actually giving wind from both of the sides. So I'm not that happy with the wind visor of the Himalayan uh, from the beginning itself so now when this is open I feel this is much more comfortable because it's summer and I'm getting uh, better ventilation so I'm kind of comfortable with it there is no wind blast and even you know that 120 is not that very high speed where you'll be having a lot of wind blast and uh, in the cruising speeds there are no stability issues but when you go to a speed of 120 and all I think the suspension is uh, relaxed a bit and you'll have a little bit of wobbling issues in the front otherwise no problem and from these speeds the braking is kind of okay you'll be having a normal feedback from the brakes but I'll be more comfortable to ride the motorcycle in uh, 80 to 90 with this kind of a braking and on a highway like this you'll be comfortably getting a mileage of 35 km per liter and that actually multiply with the tank capacity you will be having a really really nice tank range now let's talk about the luggage carrying capacity on this motorcycle so you see that the tail section is almost similar to the Royal Enfield Himalayan so you can have your saddlebags comfortably tied over there or if you want a pannier setup and everything all those things are already available in market as accessories so you can go for that so you have a magnetic tank cover here so obviously you'll be able to uh, use a magnetic tank bag so your luggage is actually sorted so yeah the final question if i have to buy this motorcycle for touring what all modifications will i be doing so obviously i don't really go for a taller windscreen i'm comfortable with it and i won't be actually going to add any saddle stays i'll be happy in tying my saddlebags over there because i i want a lighter motorcycle and actually the scrambler is a lighter version of the himalayan so why to add unnecessary weight so most probably the modification which i'll be doing is to add switchable abs button this motorcycle is actually ready to go anywhere motorcycle you can ride inside city you can tour on this motorcycle and whenever you hit a dirt no hesitation you can go through that but honestly i i'll have more confidence when i have the abs turned off in the rear wheel so currently what i'm doing is i'm pulling off the fuse but imagine if i'm having my saddlebags and everything there I really don't want to unmount all these things and uh, take the seat off and pull out the fuse. So instead if I have a button then that will be nice. Most probably that will be the only change which I will be doing which is not directly linked to a highway touring. But yes that's what it is right. After a moderate highways or even if you see these kind of off-roading places. We just tend to do some uh, slides, dialogues and all these things over here. So that's it. Totally a positive feel about this motorcycle uh, to take as a highway tourer. So that's all with this video. Hope this video is helpful for you as a tourer. So as always, show some love in the form of likes and comments. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.